Why are you scratching yourself? Anyways, hey guys, it's me, Tuck, and it's time for another vlog, because a priestess requested another one. Um, she found out that I have more than one of these, and I actually have four cats and, th and not three, but three dogs. That would be quite a handful. One dog. Um, so I'm going to be showing off each and every single one of them. And if you actually see the Wii Remote stuff and see how this room is a tornado, this is my room. Quite the mess. There's my recording stuff, there's my laptop computer. There's the hot hog, and there's the Wii and stuff, and there's my TV. And there's Blaze about to fall off. Jeez. Don't fall off. No, no, no. Come on. Anyways, um, I was going to show her Blaze again, because one, fall off. Do not. Oh, I know you hate me picking you up, but I'm, I'm saving your life here because you probably can't land on your feet yet. Um, Blaze, what are you doing? Um, I'll probably set you on the floor in a bit, but right now you just need to stay here. Don't attack the. Oh my god. Um, he's gotten bigger. That's something that I noted to her. And secondly, I think his eyes are less cross-eyed. Or crossed. So, that's another thing. And he's still as fasty as ever. He's actually gotten worse. He attacks, like, everything now. And he is not afraid of anything. He is, like, the most courageous cat I've ever met. And, um, it's not really that early, but, um, I'm still kind of out of it because I just woke up. It's, like, 12, 15. Shabam. You can tell. And, um, I don't have coffee, so I, I'm sorry if I'm loopy. Quit. What is attracting you down here? What do you want to see? Hmm? What do you want to see? Let's get rid of that. What are you attracted to? The pencil? What are you attracted to? Well, Blaze, um, we actually let him inside the house more. Uh, he still has to stay in the cage, though, so the cats and Tori won't get to him. He still has those claws of death, though. Um, my mom always prefers our cats to be declawed. I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but, um, it's mainly because she, um, she just doesn't want them to rip up the furniture or herself, because she has to take care of all of them, mostly. I help, too, sometimes, and, um, that's just how it is. What are you doing? Oh my god, Blaze, you're killing me. Um, anyways, I still have some more pets to show, so, um, this has been Blaze. And, uh, I guess I'll just go down the line of the newest that we've gotten recently. So, um, you wanna say anything, Blaze? Hmm? You wanna attack the camera again? Blaze. <laughs> anyways, here's the next one. Ignore all these shoes, please. <laughs> These Crocs, cowboy boots, whatever. Um, we're in my garage, and I would totally show it up, but just kind of show my reflection, which I'm not really ready for yet. So instead, I'm going to show you my wonderful dog, Tori. Hey, Tori. Tori is usually very hyper in case when I'm doing stuff like this, and then she's not. So trust me, she's more hyperactive than this. She can. Oh, here we go. Uh, when you when you pat your chest, she can jump up and try. Sometimes she makes it all the way to the top and, like, puts her paws on your chest. And you can, like, pet her for a good job because that's the main goal of that trick. I've taught her several. Uh, when you say, like, put her there, she'll put her paw out and she'll let you shake it, which is awesome. I can't believe I taught her that trick. And, uh, she's very, she's a very jumpy, happy dog. Hey, Tori. Who apparently has to scratch herself in the ear. Hey, Tori. <laughs> Tori is my first dog, and um, it's a good experience. Everyone should at least have one cat and one dog in their life because it can help them, you know, learn, you know, the qualities of each pet. And since they're the most popular, you know, it would be kind of wise to have that experience. Don't you say Tori. Here, Tori. Want to say something to the camera? You want to smell the camera? Oh, gosh. Tori is a handful, though. And I can't even point the camera at her sometimes. And this is like recorded the night before I'm gonna upload these on the, to um, my cam, my not camera, computer, because the last one she was not enthusiastic at all, and I kind of hoped that she'd be enthusiastic since she's not 
Uh, she's in a room that she likes. She hates my room. She thinks it's boring. She sits down and she does nothing else. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And since she's not going to be the last one, here's the next Change cat. in scenery! Welcome to... You're not going to believe this. Our cats have their own room. Even though there's random crap in here, they have their own room. There's their litter box. Over here's their food. And water, even though you just see water. Actually, there's their food. I lied to you. Sorry. Anyways, whew, it took me forever to find these two, but um, here they are in order that I was going to go in. Biscuit, who's currently winking right now, and Lily. For starters, they may look kind of fat as my voice cracks, and, I, and um, uh, that'll exp I'll explain it um, with the next cat, but um, Lily's actually the fattest we have. Let me come closer and do them in order. This gets a very shy cat. If you couldn't tell where its location is, it's in like the crook of the chair. And I smell the camera because you look like you're going to. Um, even though she is very shy, she actually follows me around the house a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think actually, not to be bragging or anything, but out of our family, I think she likes me the most. And she's leaving to go to the other side of this chair. What you doing? You want to come here? Hmm? Um, she's a flame tip Siamese. I know that much about her. It's kind of embarrassing to say that I really don't know much about, um, our cats. What they look like. Um, and also, if you think that our house is a mess, trust me, it's not. I'm just, unfortunately, in... Uh, some of the messiest parts of my room. Not my room, the house. My room's gonna clean today, so there's that. And then this one, um, it's mainly storage, so that's its reason. You have something on your whiskers. Let's get that off. And you don't like me touching your whiskers, you can trust me. You can trust me. Um, something that's different with Biscuit, I guess you could say, or something unfortunate, is that her eye this one right here, it sometimes, um, if you can tell, it, ha it gets all watery, and in which case we have to wipe it. Um, I need a Kleenex somewhere or something. Um, well, I can't find a Kleenex, so I'll probably do this after I'm done recording, though. Okay. Bless. Um, and Biscuit's just shot like that, I guess. And then next is Lily, the laziest cat in the family. Lily hates everything. No joke. She will growl at you when you walk by, unless she's in a good mood and she wants to be petted, or pet, whichever term you prefer. She's also the fattest, and I don't think she's in a good mood right now. Oh, nope, she's purring. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, Lily's just in a good mood. I wonder if I can get her to come up and come over here. When I showed you, I petted your head. <coughs> oh, never mind. She's in a bad mood. That's pretty much <laughs> the bo both sides of the coin. Um, she's also an eataholic. If you couldn't tell by um, her size. But um, I still love her. She's a good cat. She likes to keep to herself, too. So if you're one of those people that um, just don't want to be bothered all the time by pets, but at the same time you do on some occasions. Thanks, Biscuit. Lily's the cat for you. Want to say anything? Want to sniff the camera too? <laughs> I think I have a close-up of every pet's face on this camera. And we still have one more to go. And um, it's actually my favorite cat out of the bundle. Biscuit's my second favorite. And then there's Tori, and then Blaze, and then Lily's kind of last because Lily just likes to keep to herself and never wanted, wants to do anything with anybody. What you doing? Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Over here. Anyways, I will see you all. With the, and let's see if I can get this because my battery's about to die. Welcome to the final cat. Rainbow. She is the oldest. I was going in order from the youngest, from when they got here to the oldest. And I hope you can't hear my cam, not my camera, um, my computer. It's pretty loud. Let's see if I can cover it up real quick. Oh, Rainbow just sits here and stares randomly at me. 
And yes, don't judge my cat's names. That's another thing I wanted to include. I did not name any of them, except Blaze. My mother named the rest of them. Anyways, this is Rainbow. Um, there's actually a sad story with her. She is diabetic. And um, we have to always keep food out, thus how Lily and Biscuit pr get pretty fat. And Rainbow is not that fat herself, but you know. And she's, um, it's actually weird because when I was little, Rainbow hated my guts, and now she's like my favorite cat, and I'm apparently her favorite person. Either her, me, or my mom. I don't really know, but still, she is pretty awesome. One of my favorites. And, um, she always wants to be in my room for some reason. I don't know why. And I think she might be purring. Nope, I don't think so. What is it? What do you want? But, um, recently we had to feed her with, like, soft food because she's also lost all of her teeth. What are you doing in here? You're getting in the problem that I was trying to cover up. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Rainbow is just random like that. And she always likes to get my stuff, too. What are you doing over there? Sniffing my pencils? Or my books? Don't smell those. They smell like crap. Because school's crap. For all those school lovers, uh, if there are any out there, I hope not. Please don't be offended. <laughs> Anyways, that has been all of my cats and one dog and my random room, which is going to be clean later today. So, you may think it's messy now. It'll be non-messy later. And that's good. So anyways, thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.